Okay, so here we are in downtown NASA and what we like to do is ride the buses. And uh, we are right now heading downtown from the marina. And the way you do that is you cross over the street, one street up, and we come down to this fine image uh, photo studio. And uh, this is the official bus stop, unofficially. There's no signs or anything like that, but this is where the bus stops and it will take you directly downtown. Now you can catch a bus the other way, it will also go downtown, but it will go all the way around the island before it gets to downtown. So this is the fastest route to cross one street over. Riding the buses is easy and fun and it's $1.25 to get pretty much anywhere on the island. It's a little bit extra. Uh, if you're going like to the airport, it's like $3. Um, and if you're going really, really far out west, you might have to transfer two buses. But uh, very easy transportation. Everybody's super friendly. You just, when you get on the bus, you tell them where you want to go. Uh, and also, if you see a bus going by and you just kind of wave, most of the time they'll pull over and pick you up. Uh, and then when you want to get off, you just say bus stop. Or if you tell them when you get on where you want to get off, they take you right there. So bus transportation is super easy and super fun. So once you get downtown, it's kind of the main hub where almost all the buses come down here at one point or another. And then you can, you can transfer to any bus that you need down here. Uh, there's like two little bus stops within a block or two of each other and all the buses are at one of the two stops there. That's pretty easy. Oh yeah, yeah. This is Valentino here. We're down in downtown, checking out where the cute cruise ship you look coming. He's here, he's still working. He doesn't care that tourists aren't coming in. He's a hard worker, he's here selling his stuff. This is his artwork, Valentino does. Some nice stuff here. Yeah. So I'm gonna pick out one of these for myself and bring home, but any of you guys cruisers out there on sailboats, if you're down here and now, something to do, come down here and see, uh, Valentino see his artwork and uh, take a tour here. They got snorkeling tours and still stuff like that still going. So, yeah, yeah. Ashley, Ashley, right? Captain Ashley. Captain Ashley. He's running all the tours. We'll probably come back in a couple of days. You'll see us with him. So here we are enjoying the downtown area. Lots of little shops and buildings, and this is kind of definitely the touristy area of downtown. So if you guys that have been following us, we are sailing around the Bahamas, uh, me, my dad, and my son Sam, on our 25 foot sailboat. It's a very small sailboat, but uh, a lot of people have asked to kind of see a tour of our boat, so we're going to kind of show you the inner workings inside of our boat and how we live uh, on this boat. And we've been doing this for a little over a month now, and our plan is to do it for a couple of months. Um, but it is a very small boat. And uh, my son is, my other son Noah is flying out and he'll be joining us shortly too. So this is our boat. This is cockpit, which we, we have pillows and cushions and seating and we have our grill out here. It's, everything's a little bit of a mess, but we have our grill. We actually spin that around and when we're grilling out on the other side. Um, 
we usually do most of our dishes out here. That's what that is there. Um, got the batteries charging right now. And this is inside the cabin. Say hello, Sam. <laughs> hello, Sam. So this is kind of part of our kitchen area. We have our sink and we do some washing dishes in here, but it's kind of small. So we just use the bucket that's out there for most of the stuff. It's a little easier. Um, food storage is some spices and things under here. And then uh, this is our stove and cooking area. We have one, one stove, one burner stove, um, silverware, plates and such go under here. And then the real way we're able to make it with all of our cooking is everything is freeze dried. So um, this is a, a jar of freeze dried vegetables. Uh, pulled pork and back here we have some of this stuff out of the way the chicken this is all freeze-dried chicken we've got corn back there peas and carrots uh, there's eggs back there in the corner those are freeze-dried eggs and we have a freeze-dried machine we do all of our own freeze drying and then all of the storage space under the stove. Uh, there's a hatch that opens up under here and this is all filled with uh, freeze dried food and under both of our our seats is a uh, storage area and that's all our freeze dried food. So Sam, show us how you, how you sleep at night. It's quite roomy. Yeah, it actually is quite roomy. Sam is over six feet and there's plenty of room. I actually have my clothes and stuff in there. That's actually my side and this is... Realistically, I sleep like this actually. <laughs> Sam curls up at a wall. Yeah, but it is big enough for, and I'm over six feet myself and I'm a big guy, uh, but these beds are big enough. We can fully stretch out. We have plenty of room for our feet. We each have our own um, kind of mirror cabinets area there where we keep all of our toiletries and goods and stuff like that in and then this is our bathroom area toilet and uh, we keep our towels and our laundry detergent and stuff like that this is the main cabin area messy grandpa Bart's area and uh, this can fit two people um, you know usually like a husband or wife or whatever could sleep up here grandpa and Noah will probably sleep up there and then we have extra storage in here. It's kind of our closet, which is full of life jackets and pillows and shoes and whatever else gets thrown in there. But we're getting ready to get started on dinner tonight. And the main way we cook everything is just by boiling water. 90% of everything we cook is, is just boil water and kind of a jet boil type thing. And then we add it to um, whatever we're rehydrating and it's ready to go. So what are we cooking tonight, Sam? Tonight we're gonna bake some fresh bread and fry bread. Oh, nice. That's actually just gonna be buns for the pulled pork here. So bread, bun, we're making like flat bread in a pan, put some pulled pork on it, and we'll have kind of like pulled pork sandwiches, uh, mixed veggies, and then tonight's treat is macaroni and cheese. But there's kind of a trick to that because we can make our own macaroni and cheese here on the boat. We've got oodles of macaroni and cheese. See, there's our, we've got tons of macaroni and cheese. But Sam has discovered that there is a, a baby grand piano up in the very ritzy fancy restaurant upstairs. So cheapest thing on their menu is an order of macaroni and cheese. So we're gonna go up there and sit, order uh, an order of takeout macaroni and cheese while Sam plays the piano while we're waiting, so. That should be fun, and then we'll have that with our meal. So this is where we have all of our food, and we have everything from hamburger, peas, corn, spinach, pork, chicken, uh, cheese. I mean, basically everything, everything we could think of that we eat, we, we freeze dried. Um, so we probably have six months worth of food on the boat that is freeze-dried 
and to eat it all we have to do is just add water which is crazy convenient uh, when you're sailing on a small boat which um, oh my gosh I can't imagine trying to do this we have no refrigeration we have no uh, refrigerator the only stove we have is is the burner we do have this cooler um, which is a crazy nice cooler and it will keep things cold for like 10 days um, but for the most part we just portion out what we want and cook it um, the great thing is if you have like an uh, onions you'd cut up an onion and how much of it are you gonna use you can use the whole onion or just quarter of an onion and then the rest of it may go bad when it's freeze-dried you literally have chopped up onions and you sprinkle out what you want and maybe a tablespoon or a teaspoon and you you use exactly what you need the rest is good and a, and a lifespan of the freeze-dried food is 25 years 25 years so it lasts a long long time so uh, we're gonna get ready to make bread and on the boat it's pretty easy we have the little packets of yeast and they last longer if you refrigerate them yeast in general once it's opened you want to refrigerate it but um, you don't have to refrigerate the little little packets so they'll last a good time um, unrefrigerated so um, it's basic just water flour we put some spices in it olive oil uh, salt pepper um, yeast and that's it make a nice flat bread on the on the stove and we use that for all sorts of uh, things the one thing that I forgot that I wish I had was a rolling pin we do not have a rolling pin on the boat and I wish I had one but we improvise when we need to.